What's up, Buttercup? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my February to be read pile. It's gonna be short. I'm honestly just not sure about this month because I have two very thick, thick books. And it's really going to depend on how fast I read those books. So let's just go into the two that are really thick. Currently reading both, actually. The first one that I started two days early, so like January 30th or something like that, is Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. I'm about 100 pages in. It's a fever dream. It's a fever dream. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is for the Messed Up Book Club, also for Black History Month, however. See, I, I was reading it and I'm like, wait, do I understand what's going on here? And so I wrote it in our little group and uh, one of the people in the group were like, yeah, I think that's it. I'm like, what do you mean think? And he's like, it's very fever dreamish. And the narrator is definitely an unreliable narrator. I, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if that resolves itself by like the middle or the end of the book and then everything makes sense. I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Of course, <laughs> you know. And I also was told that it is a trilogy, but the other two books are just this, the same story or kind of the same story, but in different POVs. So... I am very much on the fence of if I'm even going to read the second and third book because if it's just this same-ish story but different points of view, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. This is very interesting. <laughs> is there another word? Probably, but I can't think of it right now. But I paused that book because you know what? Yeah. Sarah J. Mass's book came in. I've had this book pre-ordered since it was available for pre-order like over a year ago. No matter what book was going to be read in this month of February, it would have been paused for this chunky wonky book. Look how thick it is. You hear the squeaking? It's a brand new hardcover. <laughs> and I am like, ooh, that's a great sound. I'm very much enjoying the sound every time I just touch it, basically. Now, supposedly, I don't know, I haven't even looked into it. I've been very busy at work, okay? <laughs> There's a short story at the end or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I got this pre-order for like 20 bucks. So I don't even care if there's no short story at the end or not. I'm about 115 pages into this book. I have a ways to go. <laughs> but I'm along for the ride. Though I already can tell I really do not care about the chapters with the werewolves. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but definitely either a four or five star. I mean, it's going to depend. Of course, everyone's going to depend. But... I see high hopes here. Now you're thinking really only two books. I'm going to plan out more because that's usually how it happens. I can pretty much, no, I'm not going to say guarantee. I uh, maybe, I can maybe say that I can finish Sarah J. Mass's book in like two weeks or less. Thank you for the extra day in February. So it's 29 days. <laughs> Yay. Not sure about Marlon's book. You really have to pay attention. I am paying so much attention. I'm going to thank myself for being in the book club because four of us are reading it and there might be another person that's going to read it. So I can bounce ideas and thoughts and concerns and questions and all of that stuff off of everyone else because we're around the same page length they're they're gonna get farther than i am which is good because then i'm like 
um, what's going on here, and then they might or might not say, oh, it makes sense. Ooh, that's shiny, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, it makes sense. Just get to page 298 <laughs> or something like that. But I have uh, four other books. Well, two of them are novels and the other two are graphic novels. They're books, it's fine. Okay, just in case, cards on the table. I got the Christie. Yes. I mean, yes, <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually. So I'm just like, you know what? Just put this on the possible list. The other one is the Druid, if I can pick it up. Yes, it was a little sticky, so. <laughs> I have had this on my wish list on Amazon for like over a year. I use it for keyword Amazon ads for Danu's Curse. I wanna know the info. I see it also all the time on Goodreads. So it's popular and therefore I'm interested. Anything regarding druids, I don't know if it's gonna stick with the um, what we know about druids, which is not that much. So look, there's leeway. I just am really interested either way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Unless something is like blaringly wrong or many things blaringly wrong about druids then I might be a little testy, but I don't think so because it has a great rating, great ratings everywhere. And when you see anything regarding Irish stuff or Celtic stuff, the Celtophiles will just come out of the woodwork like myself and will just go after it. And if something is not accurate or it's not good, then you're gonna know. <laughs> so I haven't heard that positive. It's a positive. Now, this is the second part of the Tea Dragon Society. It's so adorable. I could actually really just like if I wanted to take a pause from the really thick books and read this in an hour, I could do so. It might happen. You know, I don't have a problem reading big books. I just like reading many books of the same amount of pages of one book. I don't know. Some people can't grasp that concept. So the Sarah J. Mass book is 835 pages. I could read three or four books within that time, you know, frame that I would read Sarah J. Mass's book, for example. Anyway, yes, this is the second one. Very cute. It's a normal size. <laughs> Unlike, <laughs> unlike the third part, which is still gorgeous. Love to see it. I'm very excited. It's not going to fit in my shelf. It's, it's going to have to go up to, at the top of my bookshelf. But this gives like autumn vibes. Halloween maybe vibes? That would be interesting. Not necessarily, I, like I don't know if that's the case, but just based on the coloring, that's what I'm getting at. But I'm open for anything because I just want more tea dragons. That's what I need and want. I just... I wish they were real. <laughs> I would take the chamomile tea dragon. Yeah. If you have read the graphic novels, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, then you should buy at least the first one because there's a little index of all the tea dragons and then I'll like you can basically pick the one that you most prefer and then it's like it's my tea dragon. So I'm the chamomile tea dragon mommy. And that's where I'm going to stand for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for watching my little mini TBR for February. I don't know what's to come this month, but sometimes you just have to wing it and just accept that life is it's a little messy. But that's okay. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!